Detroit police battling more than just crime these days. Officers also battling attitudes. But a new program is working to change that and at the same time empower residents. It's a story that got the attention of our own Ronnie Dahl, and she joins us live from Northwest Detroit with more on this. Hi, Ronnie. Hello, you know, for too many years there was so little enforcement and so few cops that some of these issues went unanswered. They were ignored. Good neighbors having to put up with things like stripped out houses and illegal dumping on their block. Well, now someone is listening. Detroit police officers, the neighborhood police officers, and they are encouraging others to stand up. You know, I'm a native Detroiter, born and raised in Detroit. 19 years on the force, Officer Tanda Owen still loves her job, loves serving her community. Hi, Ms. Ross. As one of the Detroit Police Department's 40 or so assigned neighborhood police officers. I wanted to talk with you about this upcoming um, senior safety program. Were you able to get any volunteers? She's invested in making a difference. I'm always willing to help. Before, quality of life issues for Detroiters often went ignored. There were just too few officers and too much else to do. It had some residents wanting to leave, but now neighbors are finding a friend in a cop. I was at my end. I really was. I wanted to move. Officer Owen said, you shouldn't have to move. And she started just really working with me and supporting me. I got my second win. As a neighborhood police officer, Owens is given time to engage with the community. What I do here is a senior safety program with the um, residents here. Build relationships. Yep. How you doing? Hello. How you doing? Address problems. Make people feel safe. Well, I'll see you tomorrow. Will you be at work tomorrow? It's imperative that we have that police presence here in the mm -hmm. community, especially with the seniors, because they're they're afraid. She does more than shake hands and lend a listening ear. Okay. She also works with sponsors, organizes giveaways, anything for the kids. I'm not even going to have my surgery on my foot until after the coat dry, because I want to make sure the children have coats. It's not a nine to five job. Her phone is always ringing. There is always someone to help. Whenever I'm dealing with a person, I've always put myself in their shoes. Each precinct does have a neighborhood police officer assigned to them. Of course, there are more issues than what they can get to, but I've ran into them because they've helped me on things, a lot of it having to do with illegal dumping and messes like this one. Kids, what do you think about this house? It's messed up. Yeah, it's messed up. The Detroit Land Bank Authority owns it, and we're going to start trying to get on them so that they can fix it up because kids don't want to live next door to it, do you? No. 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 They care, so we care, and Detroit's neighborhood police officers care. They really are making a big difference out here in the neighborhood. For now, we'll send it back to you in the studio.